in the way that financial inclusion can be made accessible to millions, potentially billions of people, in a way and at a cost that was unthinkable before. It, it's, it's quite extraordinary. It makes the hair stand up at the back of your neck when you think that that might be possible. And by the way, that's the trick, I think, for large corporations, is to understand that the cost efficiencies of embracing this new technology will potentially widen their accessible markets at a cost that's reasonable. And that in itself will create prosperity in different areas. Something that I think we should think about you know, we in the societies we live, which are fairly privileged, um, we've kind of had a wake-up call, over the, especially over the last year, that we need to listen much closer to the less privileged than ourselves and make sure that we do what we can to make sure that we are as inclusive as possible, that we hold very close to our hearts diversity and accessibility. Uh, you know, I don't like to think that we're creating so much prosperity for the less than 1%. I like to think of purpose-led businesses.